How to manage your Android Enterprise devices using the advanced device management features with Hexnode MDM? Hexnode MDM integrated with Android Enterprise offers a set of advanced device management features. Let us have a detailed look at each of them. First one is password rules for AFW container. To enforce AFW container password, go to Policies, New Policy, Android Settings, Password, AFW Container Password, Configure the Password Rules. Associate the policy to your target device. And save. Once the policy gets associated, it will be prompted to set up a new password for work on the device. Click on Setup and configure a password according to the requirements. The work container will be password protected hereafter. Now let's see how to approve and add apps from managed Google Play. On your Hexnode MDM console, go to Apps, Add Apps, Managed Google Apps. Search for the required app and click Approve. Go through the permissions required by the app and click on Approve to finalize. You will be taken to the Approval Settings page. Choose the method by which you would like to handle new app permission requests. Select this Keep Approved when app requests new permissions to enable automatic reapproval. Selecting this Revoke App Approval when this app requests new permissions will remove the app from the store until it is reapproved. Now, click on the Notifications tab. Here, you can add email addresses to subscribe for email notifications when the apps you have approved request new permissions. Enter the email address and click on Add. You can add as many subscribers as you need. Click Save. All approved apps will be added to your app inventory. You can push these apps later on to your devices. You can use Google Play to deploy your private Android apps in addition to these public apps. Note that to silently install your enterprise app, the app should be published privately in managed Google Play. Now design a store layout with custom pages and clusters of apps. Select Store Layouts under Apps. Select Add Page from the left panel. Provide the page name. Check this box to set it as a home page. Click on the New button under Clusters to add a new cluster, which is a section within the page. Name the cluster. Click on Add App to add apps to the cluster. Save Cluster. You can thus add multiple clusters. Save page. Multiple pages can be added to your layout. Click on Save Layout when you're done. Next, we have App Permissions and Configurations. With app permissions, you can set what a specific app can have access to. To configure app permissions, go to Policies, New Policy, App Permissions, Configure. Click on Add New Permission, choose the app, choose whether the app should follow the defaults or allow or deny each of the features. Click Done, Add Target Devices, Save. You can configure an app from the MDM console even before the app is pushed to devices. Click on New Policy, App Configurations, Configure. Click on Add New Configuration and choose the app to be configured. Different apps will be having different configurations.
configure the app and hit Done. Make sure to associate the policy to the target device and save. AFW devices have a set of additional restrictions to allow or restrict various features under device functionality settings, connectivity options, app settings, and so on. Let us configure factory reset protection for now. Go to Policies, New Policy, Android Settings, Advanced Restrictions, Configure. The feature works only for devices in device owner mode. Go to Factory Reset Protection, Enable Factory Reset Protection. Add a G Suite account and Google Plus Profile ID to sign into your devices in situations where you forget, don't know the previously configured Google account credentials. Go to Policy Targets, Add Devices, and Save. Note that the feature works only for unauthorized device resets, such as from Find My Device Console. During the setup procedure, you will be asked to sign in with a Google account that was previously synced on the device. Here, even if you forgot the credentials of the account added to the device, you can securely bypass FRP using the credentials of the G Suite account or Google Plus Profile ID added to the policy you have configured. Another important feature for Android Enterprise devices is AFW compliance settings. To configure this, go to Policies, New Policy, give a policy name. Go to General Settings, Android for Work Compliance Settings, Configure. Check this option to deactivate Android for Work Container or Non-Compliance. Specify the time duration after which the device gets deactivated. Choose the devices you wish to associate the policy with and click OK, Save. The work container gets deactivated after the specified time of non-compliance and all those apps in the container will be hidden.